Tonight, an Illinois girl missing for almost six years has been found in North Carolina. Police say Kayla Anbahan's mother did not have custody of her when she abducted her. The two were found after someone spotted the mother in a store and reportedly recognized her from an episode of the Netflix series Unsolved Mysteries. The WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre shares how this story inspires other families not to give up on finding missing loved ones. Whether it takes days, months, or years, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says behind every missing child's poster is a team of people working tirelessly to find them and to bring them home. And with every reunion, it is a happy ending that brings hope to others. All it takes is one set of eyes to be a hero. And once one person to see something, recognize it's out of sorts, and most importantly, say something. Uh, and that's what leads us to, to wonderful outcomes as we're seeing right now. Officials say tonight, Kayla Anbaham is back home safe with her family. The young girl was reportedly abducted by her mother, Heather Anbaham, from Illinois in July of 2017. Nearly six years after her disappearance, Asheville police say this weekend, they received a call from someone who recognized a mother in a local clothing store. So over the past nearly six years, We've worked uh, to publicize uh, Kayla's case in a variety of different ways, whether it be through posters, uh, In Pursuit with John Walsh, the Netflix uh, show of Unsolved Mysteries. John Bischoff with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says they have assisted in well over 400,000 missing child cases and the fight to find missing children never stops. That includes children like missing Cornelius girl, Madalena Kojakari. We certainly haven't given up on Madalena, nor is law enforcement. There's an entire community that wants her found uh, and wants her found right now. Uh, that is ongoing work and, and that uh, that spark has not ended. Madalena went missing in November of last year. Her mother, Diana Kojokari, and her stepfather, Christopher Palmetter, were arrested for failing to report her missing. Bischoff says all cases are different, but every success story brings hope to others. It's cases that we see today with, with uh, Kayla's case and, and her father and, and the wonderful work done in Asheville. Uh, it gives every searching parent hope. Uh, hope that they're going to find their missing child. It gives us hope here at the National Center uh, just to keep up the fight because these children are out there. The organization says it's very important for people to share missing children's posters. And when you do come across one, to take the time to really look at it because it could be you calling in saying you recognize a missing child and it leads to a reunion. In Southwest Charlotte, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.